Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Supermicro. I'm here at OCP Global Summit 2025 at Keoxia's booth, and I'm joined here by Anders. Anders, thanks for joining me. And I have a couple questions for you. First, can you please tell me a little bit more about Keoxia's relationship with Supermicro? Yeah, thanks Andrew. Uh, my name is Anders Graham, Senior Director of Marketing and Business Development at Keoxia America. Uh, so first, just some quick background on Keoxia. Are one of the, the world leaders in, in flash storage, uh, own some of the largest fabs in the world out in Japan. And uh, yeah, we've been working closely with Supermicro for a number of years. Uh, most recently, you know, we've released PCI 5.0 SSDs to market with Supermicro. Our CDAP and CN7 drives uh, are very popular. And we've really been focusing on new form factors uh, such as E1.S and also E3.S. And we've actually seen a lot of traction uh, over the last year with our E3.S products, which are built really specifically for flash as opposed to two and a half inch drives, which were built for disk. Uh, with I think 15 terabyte, 12 terabyte really being a sweet spot, for example, for you know, AI inference workloads. So uh, if you want to look online, you can check out our micro site, the Supermicro. Just Google Supermicro Keoxia. You'll see a list of the different SSDs that, that we have that are available together in the, in the Supermicro solutions. Great, thanks, Anders. Um, next question for you. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about how Supermicro and Keoxia are bringing new server and storage solutions to the OCP ecosystem? As far as things that we're introducing uh, to the market, to the, the OCP ecosystem with Supermicro, let me just walk you through a few things in the boot. Um, really what we're displaying today, we have a, a number of our, our drives here. We have our, our XC8, E1.S product, which we're seeing for a lot of new GPU type workloads. That's seeing a lot of traction there in some of the NVIDIA designs. Um, and I also want to talk about our, our next generation BIX8 flash products. We recently announced our, our BIX8 SSDs, uh, and they have a, a very significant improvement in both capacity and also our performance profile. Uh, the underlying technology is moving to something called CBA technology, which is CMOS bonded directly to array. And that enables a couple things. Uh, one of the things that it enables is higher performance at lower power. So this demo here is our CD9 P SSD, which uh, is just now getting into qualification with Supermicro. Uh, what this demo shows, it's running a machine learning uh, performance benchmark. And we're actually running this on a Supermicro server. And the only difference in the demonstration is we have one server that's running a CD9P drive and in the same server, the exact same configuration, running a CD8P drive. As we're moving to our BIX-8 class, it's actually similar controller architecture that main changes moving to the BIX-8. Uh, you're running this machine learning performance benchmark. You can actually have five GPUs access a CD9P drive, whereas only four GPUs are accessing a CD8P, and you're still above the 90% utilization metric that's required for the benchmark. So basically everything else is the same. We move to the new flash technology, which is more higher performance and lower power. And you can get 25% better uh, GPU utilization at a higher sustained performance and a uh, lower power. So this is uh, the second demo that I wanted to show. This is showing our LC9 product, uh, high capacity QLC storage for fast retrieval of large data sets. So our Big Save flash also enables a, a two terabit QLC die stack with this innovative CBA technology. And if you take uh, 32 terabit dies stacked into one package, it would be eight terabyte package. 32 of those packages on a PCB, you end up with a 245 terabyte drive. So that's what we're announcing here, the 245 terabyte LC9. Uh, it's gonna come in a number of form factors. The E3.L is a really innovative one, which will actually uh, increase the overall server level density. And so this is something we're very excited about uh, bringing to market, you know, with Super, with super Micro uh, and qualifying and introducing uh, next year. And this will really help enable this extremely dense server footprints, uh, which will be key with these huge data sets that we see for AI. So I uh, appreciate your time today and we look forward to working with, with Super Micro uh, next year on these solutions. All right, thanks, Anders. Um, if you want to learn more, about Supermicro and Keoxia, please visit supermicro.com. All right, thank you. Thanks.